I'm generally not a woo-woo kind of person. If I don't get something, I want to unpack it, get the facts. But the ocean, it's a part of me. You could say it runs in my blood. My grandmother was a free diver, an ama. She helped me feel its rhythm and understand how one breath could last a lifetime. We dove so often, the memories all run together. Except one. When I wished I could stay down forever. Ocean cast its spell on me that day. And its mystery still consumes me. Day one, submerged atoll, Western Pacific. It's great to be diving again. I'm anxious to find our sperm whale family and look in on our mother-to-be. I'm also excited to test out Andre's new tech. Ocean X is expecting a huge audience for our first live stream, given how bad things were in this region a few years ago. No pressure though, ready to dive. I'm in and okay. Hey, Mariah, how's the new suit? Nice. A bit itchy, but I've had worse. How are you breathing? Breathing easy. This rebreather is amazing. Feels like I'm free diving. A genuine compliment. <laughs> Should have caught that on the live stream. Uh, give me a few minutes. I want it to be amazing, and I'm still getting used to this AR visor. Done. How many scans before the AI is trained on a creature? It will vary. There are many factors that affect the confidence level of a match. So you don't know. Got it. Now point me to the buoy so I can try the hydrophones. I want to make sure all the tech is working before we stream. Arena, how you feeling? Haven't thrown up today. Well, it's still early. You gonna be okay with the live stream? Hmm. I may let you do most of the talking. Once you reach the boy, you can triangulate the sound of any animal. Clever. Thank you. That's close enough. You can use your dive watch to control the boy from there. Refresh me on the controls. Move the target in circle around. Each sound will get louder when you are close to locking in on an animal's location. Mariah, if you're okay, I'm going to start the live stream. Let's roll. Welcome to the Ocean X live stream. I'm Dr. Mariah Soto, and I'll be your eyes and ears on this expedition. I'm joined today by two colleagues. Hello, I'm Andre. Hello, everyone. I'm Irina. Looks like we've got our first singer. Fantastic. Hopefully on your next dive, you can record his song to compare with other humpbacks in the area. Fun fact, in addition to being an engineer in words, Andre is quite the musician. Are you still writing music? Not for years. Dry spell? More like raising teenagers.
That looks to be a sperm whale. I think I saw this bull from the sub. I wonder how far he's traveled. Once we have a reliable ID on him, I'll see if anyone has tracked him before. Nice. that should be better at isolating the source of the sounds. Don't get too jealous, folks, just because I'm swimming with dolphins. My grandmother always warned me that although they're cute, they can also be pranksters, and today also very noisy. Done. And maybe next time I can weigh in before on the number that we need to scan? <laughs> As I mentioned, the confidence model is complex. You just want to find the whales. Guilty. Hey, Marai, I'm seeing alerts on the South Buoy if you want to pull them down. Okay. Let's see what mysteries this buoy unlocks. Sound? Did I break something? Uh, I've deployed acoustic modems to transmit from other sensors. For those of you who have no idea what he's talking about, he means we use sound to transmit data, so we can have Wi-Fi in the ocean. Impressive. What kind of bandwidth do we get? Mm, like 1990s dial-up. Fun alert. Looks like some young dolphins are having a play date. Ooh, company. Unbelievable. That sounds too close to be outside the research zone. One of the waypoints went down. Do you think that's related? Yeah, probably. Red light must mean a serious alert. Yeah, dead battery.
Whoa, octopus. I think it went in that cave. I'd like to go in that cave. Let's be real. There's no way I'm not squeezing through here to follow that octopus. We'll definitely want to practice diver rescue at some point. Well, maybe. Mirai, please be careful. Hey there! Sorry to spoil your hiding place. Hey guys, can I take a turn? Well, you don't see that every day. At least I don't. Frankly, neither do I. Chemical emittance trigger this whole area because of me Not because of me, but because I configured the sensors to detect stress in the coral population Okay, let's find out what's causing that stress Mirai, please collect biosamples from any of the distressed corals happy to oblige for those watching These sensors help us understand what leads to resiliency in coral so we can help breed it into other species
done. Mirai, sperm whales. And they must be your pod because I have a tag signal that is definitely ours. Pushing the waypoint. On my way. I'm hoping to reconnect with the sperm whale family, whom I have been tracking for years. I'm excited to check in on our mother-to-be. Mommy Whale has delivered. Everyone say hi to her beautiful one-ton baby girl. Is she okay? Right. Shh. She's nursing. I just wish all of you could be here for one second. <sighs> Amazing. That is the end of our stream. Like, share, comment. Remember, we need you. All of us down here. Hello, Marai. Thanks for checking in. Hey, Andre. Nice dive. How are you feeling? A bit tired, but I can't wait to get back out. Can you believe we found the family on the first dive? And they have a new baby girl. I know. Well done. Feeling settled in the sun. Has everything tested out? Fabulous. The overhead speakers sound great. Glad I brought my tunes. This solo sub-test makes me nervous. We're definitely fitting it out for two pilots next time. Are you volunteering? Well, not if you're choosing the playlist. Snob. I think Arena was enjoying my tunes quite a bit on the trip out here. No comment. So, I have something I know you'll want to see. It's what the live stream saw of A12 and her baby. I didn't think you expected her to deliver so soon, though. I thought she had more time given her weight, but it was hard to know for sure. Hmm. What's the hmm about? Just noting her low weight. Also wondering when you'll find the rest of her pod. Maybe they were diving. I'll find them. Hey, I was thinking we should name the baby whale Andrea. She has your kind eyes. And my bald head. <laughs> no, I'm putting her in the sim as A17. Ugh, you're so sentimental. Hey, where's Arena? Probably in the head throwing up. She threw up one time. Why are you being so hard on her? I just don't like the idea of using priceless expedition time to make pharmaceutical companies richer. I 
thought she was self-funding her own research. Yeah, self-funding so she can found another startup. Besides, you know that all of her findings here will be open to the public. Is she gonna jump on the chat? She's reading a brief about that deep sea mining impact study. Okay, I definitely don't have time to get into that with you. I gotta call my sister. No problem. I'll send Ren my best. I will. Hey girl, aren't you supposed to be 20,000 leagues under the sea? I am. I'm calling from the sub. That's crazy. Hey, did you show Nana my live stream tonight? School's great, thanks for asking. Concert great too? Saw your friend's post. <laughs> Fish, girls gotta take a break sometime. Hey, check this out. No way. Is that a baby whale? Mm-hmm, and her very, very proud mother. She delivered early. That's some view. You're really living the dream. Thanks. Miss you though. How's Nana? Okay, not a big deal, but I am taking Nana to get tested for a clinical trial. Some new dementia drug. Well, thank you for stepping up to help Nana. It's not a big deal. You would tell me if it was, right? Yeah. You sound down. Is it just Nana? I don't know. It's been hard since Dad died. I know. You want to stay on for a while? We can watch the baby whale together. No, I should go. Say hi to the whales for me. Day two, back to the atoll at sunset. The hydrophone feeds are alive with the sounds of whales. Gonna find me some singers. I'm excited to test Andrea's new Manta drone. Kinda like the Swiss Army knife of stealth drones. I'd love to spend the whole dive hanging out with baby Andrea, but miles to swim before I sleep. Ready to dive. I'm in and okay. Looking good, Mirai. The Manta drone is ready for its first zoom scan. Now I get to see why you talk about it so much. Only the best science for you. Buoy ahead. Bet we'll find some whale vocalizations. Well, I'm not taking that bet. You always find whales. You'd find them in your bathtub. What kind of bathroom do you think I have? <coughs> this is a lot of whales. It's staggering the number migrating through this area. Hey, don't jinx it. It's our sperm whale family again. The Manta drone will match speed with the creature so you can concentrate on steering it around to find the places you need to focus. Alright, baby. We won't forget you now. Andre, can the zoom scan tell how old the baby is? Not with any certainty. Why? Just wondering if she's old enough to hunt by herself. to go that deep. Will she be okay alone while her mother dies? She should follow the pod. Her aunties will babysit while the mother hunts. Wish I had them when my daughter was born. Mm, takes a pod. Mirai, why is the baby girl so important to your study? I'm hoping to follow the baby for years to learn from her as she learns from her family, and hopefully to watch her eventually become a mother herself.
Here we are. The whale we're designating Humpback M1. Oh, so catchy. see it again. Each humpback's fluke is unique. So M1 it is. Andre Software is helping me understand the structure of their songs so we can try singing back. More like playing back. I'll synthesize a song that mirrors one from another region to see how these whales react. Because Andre doesn't like my singing. It's more the songs you sing. Humpback M2. Looks like he's on a date. How can you tell? It's like they're dancing to his song. What do you think, Andre? Do you think you can make it as a solo artist? Well, not without more original material. What? Males from the same region sing nearly identical songs with just enough variation to stand out. Yeah, just like most pop singers. Such a snob. Let's hope the whale of Palooza continues. Wonder if they charge admission. Don't worry, whatever it is, you can take it from my budget. Someone's feeling better today. Well, I guess it worked. I've got some nasty noise. The same damn sound we heard yesterday. Well, I'll check it out between the whales. to mark the starfish for collection. Are you testing your collector drone? It's not a test. Irina needs us to collect a few for study. They are incredibly resilient. They can regenerate themselves from just a subset of their body. They're also invasive. Must have hitched a ride in the ballast of a ship. Irina, how many of these do you need? I'm missing the whales. Just a few.
Okay, micro tags deployed. Thanks, me, guy. That's plenty. Are you sure this is where you track that noise? I don't know, Andre. That sound is loud, but it seems pretty deep. Can't see how it could be coming from a ship. Yeah, I agree. It also keeps starting and stopping. I'll figure out another way to investigate it. Other nasty noise. It was definitely digital. Low power alarm. You need to pick up a sensor for servicing. It never occurred to you that a nice ringtone would be far less annoying? Mirai, please, please, get closer. You weren't this excited about the dolphins before. They're rubbing against the coral. Kind of a wellness visit. I have colleagues that are studying the antimicrobial properties of these coral. Andre, those reef sharks like your ringtone. Well, 
I be able to get the data off that sensor while I'm picking it up? No. It goes to sleep when the power is low to preserve the data. Whoa! Did you see that? A shame that wasn't on the live stream. Have you seen one do that before? Never! I'm picking up a tag from the sperm well pod, pushing the waypoint now. On my way. Sorry, sharks. Mirai is off the menu. The baby's back with the rest of the pod. What's it doing? Nuzzling. Probably calling for its mama. Are you calling for your mother? Got to be kidding me. Yeah, I hear it. There they go. That was a shot. Can you send the sub to pick me up? I'm done for now. It's Ren. Leave a message at the beep. Is there actually a beep? Hey, Ren. Why's your phone off? You said this was a good time to call. Ignore that. Someone was messing with my whales today. I was just hoping I could vent to you a little. Let me know if there's any update about Nana. Ooh, and we had a whale of palooza today. Anyway, give me a call when you can. The whales say hi back. Hey, Mirai. How are you? <sighs> Doing all right. How are you feeling? Any better? A bit. I might finally be getting my sea legs. Next step, diving. <laughs> One step at a time, Mirai. <laughs> okay, but I promise you, it'll change your life. Is Andre with you? No, just me. Andre is analyzing some sound files in the other lab. I think I may have upset him. The two of you do seem to be on opposing wavelengths fairly often. I quite enjoy our debate. Except when it affects our work. It wasn't a debate. It was an argument. Andre, I didn't realize you were on. What did you find? This is video and audio from your last dive. And this is an analysis of the sound that spooked the family. <laughs> And this sound is from the Canadian Marine Acoustic Scientist. I think the findings are pretty clear. The signatures sound the same to me. He gave me the same test. Andre, who is messing with my whales? Deep sea miners. Here? In the research zone? It's off limits to commercial activity. And when has that ever mattered before? We don't know that they are in the research zone. They may be just outside it. We knew they were doing an impact study nearby. What are they after? That might give us a clue. They're looking for rare minerals to make solar panels. Could the sound cause trauma to the whales? The acoustic specialist said it might push them to quieter hunting grounds, but was unlikely to cause acoustic trauma. So what's the move? We should use our mapping drone to investigate their activity. 
And this is where our debate turns into an argument. We need that drone to map the deep sea vents before Mirai dives there. The biochemistry of these vents is the perfect cocktail for creating new life forms. If there is illegal activity there, we have to stop it. Otherwise, there will be no life forms. Why spend our short time here policing rather than researching? Let's be scientists. Mirai, your dive, your call. I'll dive in the vents without a map. Nobody messes with my whales. Hey, Mirai. Sorry I missed you. Misplaced my phone. Whale of Palooza? Is that a real thing? Tell whomever annoyed you I'm coming for them. Hey, nobody messes with our whales. Does your submarine have sonar? Maybe you can find the bad guys with that. No word on Nana's thing yet. Miss you. Day five, open ocean, east of the atoll. I'm ready to play back a coda sound to Andrea to see her response. I'm definitely worried that the family has gotten smaller. Not sure if they were just spooked by that sound or if something else is going on. Staying hopeful, ready to dive. I'm in and okay. I always feel like I'm swimming in place in the open ocean. Think the Explorer drones will flag me as biodiverse? It's not what they're looking for. That's what everyone says. Approaching the buoy. Now to get there before the noise from Andrea's minor friends scares them all away. You want to raise my blood pressure? Okay, group survey. New or a repeat? So glad to hear you. Those noisy neighbors silenced enough of your friends. We'll designate this one M4, because why mess with a good thing? The sounds don't sound like the prior sounds. These are more social sounds. Are you seeing this? That a leatherback turtle. I didn't think there were any left here. What happened? Egg poaching, and the nesting beaches got too warm. Bio sample acquired. Do you think your turtles are making a comeback? Well, I wish I could be optimistic. It's just as likely our turtle is taking the long route home to somewhere else. I 
was not expecting to find Orcus. They don't look like killers. Top of the food chain, just like us. Minus the urge to destroy ourselves. Has anyone been tracking them? I'm still waiting to see if there's a match. Hello to you too. Feels like my birthday, and that buoy is my present. Hope it's better than my last birthday. Dare I ask? My sister got me jeans that were mine for mm, about a week before they wandered off, never to be seen again. A mystery, I tell you. Did you not charge any of these batteries before you put the sensor in? It's not a battery alarm, it's the drone. No one's tracking them? Nothing has turned up. Pretty low weight. Arena, do you think this one could be sick? I'm honored you believe I could tell from this distance and that my knowledge of disease extends to all species. <laughs> Fair enough. Dolphins, always showing off. Hey, Andre, can you make your Manta drone do synchronized swimming? Guess we'll see. we're using whale sharks as batteries now. There's already a tag on it. Then scan the tag. Sure, like that was obvious. I'm leaving another tag. Much better than a dead battery. dive location because you tracked the baby's pod out here? Uh, I said they were heading in this direction.
Andre, the buoy is glitching. I don't know what range you've set, but I think I'm hearing all the animals in the Pacific. Yeah. Too many sound signals for the software to keep up. I don't know what kind of party I'm crashing, but pretty sure I'm gonna love it. What is happening? It's a bait call. Humpbacks? Orcas? Very unusual, but everyone's gotta eat. Are you safe, Doki? I'll try not to be mistaken for a fish. Of course dolphins show up. Never like being left out of the action. Mm, they want leftovers. Good luck to them. They're up against bigger stomachs. Here they are. You were right, Andre. I guess I didn't just swim across the Pacific for nothing. Are there fewer than before in this pod? Or am I just getting faster at tagging? No, oh, definitely fewer. But maybe the others are hunting. No, no, don't leave me. Well, the mother stayed with the baby this time. Okay, ready for playback? I've prepared a coder you can activate from your dive watch. Okay, first attempt to speak whale. Hopefully I won't offend her. clicks. I could feel it across my body. Just checking me out. First contact. She zoom scanned you. You have no idea what that felt like. She was looking right at me. Whew. You have no idea. <laughs> Bad news. The drone we had tracking that intrusive noise, it's gone. Lost contact hours ago. I'll keep monitoring the hydrophones for that noise, but as of now, unless the drone resurfaces, that's all we've got. Hey, Mirai. I assume you've heard that Andrea lost the drone. Yeah, bad break. Did we get any usable data from the drone before it went missing? You'll have to ask Andre. He hasn't given me an update. I think he's upset that I suggested we'd still have the drone if we used it for its original purpose. It's crazy that we only have one mapping drone. If this were a space mission, we would probably have a hundred. You sound a little frustrated. Is that with Andre or the drone situation? Both. Yeah, his passion can sometimes be overwhelming. I just wish he wasn't so cold with me. Just because I turned my prior research into a successful biotech business, not every company is evil.
Hey, that's right. I read about that. Was it fun being a corporate titan? Did you have your own jet? No jet. But I did have a pretty indulgent company car. Mm. <sighs> Was that a yawn? Did you get any sleep? Not really. Between the drone and staying up to chat with my daughter, I spent most of the night staring out of my cabin window at the moon. My grandmother loved to take me free diving in the moonlight. It was magical. It's like the whole ocean glows. Sounds like a fun grandmother. She was. Is. Uh, she's alive, but suffers from dementia. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. Nana moved in with us after our mom died. I was 12, Ren was four. Are you and your sister close? Most of the time. It's complex right now, but yeah, definitely. Where is your daughter? She's at university in the UK. What is she studying? Pre-med. But she also has a passion for music. She has been playing in the same indie band for years. What's her music like? Hard to describe. I'm sure Sophie would love for you to check it out. I'll send you her latest single. Oh. Isn't your sister also at university? My sister uh, took a break for a few years, but she's back now. There's a story there. Not my business. She's had to deal with tough stuff. We both have. I just seem to have an easier time adjusting. Does she want your help? I don't think she wants her stuff to get in the way of my success. You sound like me talking about my daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, complex. Hmm. People are messy. That's why I study whales. <laughs> Speaking of which, I better get prepped for our next dive. Yeah. Catch you later. Yes, of course. Hi, Mirai. Must be late there. That's okay. I'm on dive time. I showed Nana the highlights from your live stream. Did she recognize my voice? No. Maybe. She seemed to enjoy it, though. Are you doing okay with her? Kind of. You do this better. Did you want to talk about next semester? Ugh, when you get back. It's complex. You know, I can look at coming back earlier. That's crazy talk. Go speak to your whales. <laughs> Gonna try. Catch you later. Day seven. About to enter the twilight zone. I'm following Andrea's family down to the seamounts where I hope to observe them hunting. Arena has been testing our samples and is worried about a harmful algal bloom being somewhere nearby, so I am to keep an eye out for that. Check. I'm also keeping an eye out for more turtles. I know they're out there. Ready to dive. I'm in and okay. And we're streaming. Hello everyone. Welcome. Or welcome back. I'm diving near a sea mountain region also known as the Twilight Zone, because it is just beyond reach of the sun. And we'll be taking some questions live, so be nice. We'll also be testing a playback system to interact with whales. Wanna hear something cool? So do I. I'm hoping that buoy can send a little message to our humpback friends. That's right. Andre is going to serenade some humpbacks. <laughs> well, not me, but using a song I generated from other recordings.
another leatherback turtle, Andre. And feasting on some moon jellies. That is odd. Is that the same one we saw before? Hmm. It looks bigger, but let me zoom scan it to be sure. but I am sure this is a different one. Do they typically travel together? Would it be surprising to find two this far off course? Yes, it would be. And yet, here they are. Welcome back, turtles. Enjoy your beautiful moon jellies. Okay, time to see if any humpbacks respond to our song. Jordan wants to know how you can help. Great question. If we have recorded him before, we'll see if the influence of our song affected his. Scientists believe whales from one region can influence the song of whales from another when they mix. Hey Andre, we've recorded a song from this one before, right? We have. How quickly can you compare his two songs? Well, I need to wait for his song to complete at least one full cycle. And how long is that? Mm, 20 minutes, maybe more. Wow, that's a long, slow ballad. Squid. It looks like they're hunting lanternfish. Well called, Arena. We'll make you a sea witch yet. I'm sorry, a, a what? Let's scan a few to pick up their hunting behavior. Here goes. Scott from Denver wants to know if they eat each other. Some do. I think this one was upset he missed out on his prey. I've been waiting for this. I have just activated your UV light. First of all, don't mess with my suit when I'm diving. Secondly, you spoiled my surprise. Swell sharks have developed biofluorescence to communicate with each other. Their eyes have special adaptations for the UV light. Now you can see what a swell shark sees. That's what I'm talking about.
Next, you can try the black light I installed in your sub. You did not. You did install it in your dorm room back in the day. Your wife showed me pictures. Well, you know it was a good time. What are we looking for here? Oh, one of our sperm whale tags must have fallen off. Andre, you really need better glue for these. I don't use glue. I've tracked down the tag. It's in a cave. I wonder how it got in here. Oh, what the? Right. <laughs> An octopus. Uh, are you okay? Other than getting inked in front of a live global audience? You know, you might want to get that off you. It will probably attract predators. Okay, last boy of the dive. How are you feeling? Chances of suit holding out until the end of the dive, good. Hope of seeing if our humpback song had any effect, well... You know this, but for the viewers, science is not magic, it takes patience. I'd like to believe in a little magic. Sperm whale. I think it. Yes, it's hunting! First time we'll be able to document it with Andre's technology. Come on, come on. And then the buzz. I got it! Raj from Mumbai wants to know what's the buzz? I think he was making a joke. Got it. But what is the buzz? How is it used? We're not entirely sure, but definitely associated with being close to prey. This is just a warm-up. The real fun will come in the deep. There's no way these little ones are thousands of miles off course. Right, Andre? Give him a minute. Right. Let's scan a few of these to get their gender. There's a tiny tag here. Andre? Chen from Shanghai wants to know why you care about their gender. Well, their sex is determined by the temperature of their nests. Warming beaches wiped out the turtles in this region. Believe in a little magic now, Andre? I may just start, but let me check on that tag first. Oh, wow. Glad we didn't miss this. Beautiful. Yeah, they must have been hunting down past the rift. I think we found our spot for our first deep dive. Mirai, check out that one closest to you. What's that on its skin? Not sure I can catch them. They're headed to the surface. It might just be a scrape from a ship strike. Yeah, let's hope that's all it is. Let's end it here. I know it seems like Andre worries about everything. But I really understand where that comes from. Everyone's seen the pictures, but I can tell you it was really tough to be doing hands-on work when we were losing entire species. For me, it was the whales. But for Andre, it was the turtles. I stayed to help him. Several of the other scientists did as well. By then, only Andre's protected nests were the ones producing turtles in the region. 
we all figured that the population was going to collapse, and eventually it did. But seeing this large man spend day after day carrying tiny turtles from the nest to the water, it inspired us to stay. Coming back now, it feels like another world. Andre is not an angry man, Arena. He's just a man who gets angry when he sees people say it's too hard or that they don't care at all. Yeah. Hi, Mariah. Sorry to miss the post I brief. I've been listening to our humpback recordings for hours and got myself in a kind of funk. Actually, I started listening to the humpbacks and then switched to Miles Davis. Anyway, I don't see any clear sign that our playback influenced any of the other whales yet, but I just know we're on the right track. I'm sorry to be in such a mood. Don't know what to make of those turtles or what's going on with our sperm whale family. Right. Catch you in a bit. Day 12. Spent the last five days on an endless series of depth tests of Andre's deep diving suit. Guess he doesn't want me to implode on the live stream. I do hope it's giant squid proof though. The mapping drone located a brine pool near where Andre's family has been hunting. That is, before I went AWOL. Ready to die. I mean dive. I'm in and okay. You sure I can't talk you into another test dive at this step before we stream? Enough test dives. I feel like I'm doing a spacewalk. Well, with this suit, you probably could. Are we gonna talk about suit crush depth again? I think we can probably roll. Starting the live stream. Welcome back, ocean friends. Tonight, I am deep. Midnight zone, no light from the surface deep. Tonight, we're using Andre's lure drone to mimic the Atolla jellyfish to lure large predators like the giant squid. <laughs> it's certainly not all my tech. I'm building on years of prior research. Don't forget our mission to the brine pools. Oh yes, Arena will fill you in on that later. Okay, Andre, how do I find the lure drone? Look for blinking red lights in the water column. need to get too close, you can activate the lure from there. Andre, have you done this before? I haven't, but others have. How long until we can expect the lure to attract a predator? It's hard to say, it's a big ocean. But if you lose patience, I would find some real Atola jellyfish. I have a feedback system set up to improve the lure as you scan them. Of course you do. For those watching, we will be scanning these Atola jellyfish to make sure Andre's lure matches the real thing. It does, but it can always be refined. Not much confidence in humanity, but plenty in himself. Got the jellyfish scans, though Andre doesn't need them. In truth, they should improve the lure. I would not waste your time. Getting a few impolite comments on the screen pointing out that giant squid don't feed on Atolla jellyfish. They're right. Actually, the Atolla puts on this light show when under attack, in order to lure creatures big enough to eat their attacker. Might have some useful human applications. I think we need more Atolla scans to approve the lure. Okay. Whose idea was it to live stream this particular dive? I am glad I can't see the comments. I would agree. My grandmother had the same for times like this. I, I'm not going to try my grandmother's accent on a live stream, but loosely translated, it means if you get bored waiting for a giant squid, you can always go to a bride pool. That's a pretty specific saying. I noticed that these atollas were already making their blue alarm before you swam close. Most likely a sign that they have detected predators in the region that threaten them. Oh. <laughs> 
I know how much you enjoyed that, but do you mind if we check out the brine pool before we check on our whale camp? If you insist. You got what you wanted. This is my giant squid. Hmm. Is that another one of your grandmother's sayings? No, but she often used this one. Hurry up and collect my specimens for me. What an expressive language. It's no giant squid, but I promise you, you won't have to wait to find it. Hmm. <laughs> At long last, welcome to the brine pool. I know it's really a salt lake under the ocean, but it looks more like a witch's brew. I have been teasing Arena, but a brine pool is a diverse micro environment within the ocean. It has its own ecosystem. And each one is unique. So that means the microbiology is unique and could hold groundbreaking solutions to human problems. Each time I take new samples into a lab here on this show, it's this magical discovery moment where I tingle all over. I fund my own research so I can pursue what I know to be important. And people ask me, how much money are you going to spend to collect some bacteria at the bottom of the ocean? If these bacteria hold the cure for a disease that relieves even just a small amount of human suffering, how do you put a price on that? That is some... Giant squid. Pushing you a waypoint. Sperm whales are back on the hunt. Look for the drones. They will seek out the sound of the sperm whales and then idle nearby. We hope that today, Andrea's tech will make it possible to document how a sperm whale hunts the giant squid. drop on their hunting. One of our viewers wants to know if there is a problem with the link since the waypoints keep appearing and disappearing. No problem. The drones are in stealth mode, so they will only track the whales by sound. I better swim fast. We'll keep good watch over you. I think the squid knocked the camera right off. I had that camera feed in full screen on my visor, and for a second, I thought it was lights out for me. It sounds like a good time for the sub to pick you up. Live stream out. It's Irina. Since there's no dive today, I'm going to lose myself in the wet lab to work on those samples you sent up from the brine pool. Hey, have you listened to my daughter's track? Interesting, right? Mirai, remember the tag we found on the turtles? I put it out on the network and I got the strangest message back. I'm going to take a tender to a small island nearby and check it out. I'll explain everything later. 
Still no mapping drone, by the way. Hey, it's me. Nana didn't qualify for the study. Doctor says we missed the window. Whatever that means. Hard to tell what she remembers now. It's tough. Not sure my head's 100% there with school. Honestly, seems like a waste of money. Anyway, see you. Day 13. We're in the vents region without a map because of the lost drone. Diving blind, but I know these vents are important to Arena. We tracked a tag from our whale family here. I'm hoping it just fell off, as this would be an unusual place for a whale to be. Andre has the dive suit in safe mode, so I'll have restricted range. Head south to find the clearing for the sub pickup. Check. Ready to dive. I'm in and okay. Remember, no boys and no waypoints. I put a simple version of the mapping system on your Manta drone. Now, we won't get your feed live, so we'll hear you, but won't see what you see. I really wish we hadn't lost that mapping drone. Relax. You know I've got this. Of course. But we'll keep unnecessary chatter to a minimum to help you focus. Roger that. No chit-chat. Singing's okay, though, right? Arena, how will I know the difference again between a dormant vent and a live vent? Well, the live vents would have 400 degree water streaming out, so that's one way. Check. Wide berth on the live hydrothermal vents. Sorry. I thought my mic was muted. This is a dormant field. No live vents. Neither of you are going to believe this. I think I found the mapping drone. Really? No way. Can you scan it to make sure? Scan confirms. I thought you programmed it to track the noise from the miners. I did. I definitely did. Maybe you never committed the change. You were pretty exhausted that night. Yeah, maybe. Okay, this dive just keeps getting stranger. How hot would you say that water typically is in a live vent? Is that a joke? No joke. Down one drone, but discovered an unmapped vent system. Mirai, this is great. I truly believe that these systems are the key to understanding the origins of life. Thank you so much for doing the dive under these conditions. Actually, that might be the answer. What? To why the drone died. Mm, we were talking about the origins of life. My mind won't stop if it can't fit all the pieces together. The mapping drone may have cruised too close to the vent. It's got more delicate equipment on its underside that are not rated for anything close to that temperature. You sound almost pleased. Well, it's better to know the flaws so you can fix them. I know you're giving me the silent treatment, but I think I just discovered a new species of octopus. I'm not sure I can confirm that with just one scan. Sorry, didn't copy that. Red, glowing, need more? Mirai, I would give that a very wide berth, like maybe from your son. Are you kidding me? Describe, please. I can't. I, I mean, I don't want to. Mirai, you're making me uneasy. Seriously, we'll look at it together when I'm done with the dive.
just getting a few last scans. saying goodbye to a friend. Can you send the sub? We watched the video log from your dive. I'm truly heartsick. I'm furious. Where should we start? The destroyed vent. I couldn't believe how badly the seabed was chewed up. Vents that might have had a fossil record dating back over a billion years. And microbial life that doesn't exist anywhere else on the planet. Who knows what cures we've lost. Your drone's a fallen hero, Andre. I think it spooked the miners before they did more damage. If you hadn't been willing to dive without a map, we would never have confirmed they were actively mining. Who gets the satisfaction of turning them in? We were debating that before you came on. We should jointly report. It'll be stronger. Agreed. Agreed. Now tell us about the whale fall. Could you ID the whale? The whale fall was definitely from the baby's family. The tail fluke was intact enough to scan it. But you are sure it wasn't the mother? It wasn't the mother. The ID matched another whale we know from her family. But it was an older whale, so more vulnerable. Do you think there's any connection to the miners? They did plenty of damage, but I don't think the whale fall is on them. I can pull out anything from the scan log that might be worth investigating. Already have. Can you turn these into dive objectives? Right. Catch you in a bit. Day 14. Arena's analysis of the whale fall shows evidence of toxins from a harmful algal bloom. We have to find Andrea and her family and get bio samples. On a positive note, Andrea's side trip was a success. He found an amazing group of teens who have been nurturing the turtle population back to health. Running out of dive time. Especially if I go home early. Ready to dive. I'm in and okay. This area looks so different at night. I used to love diving in the moonlight. The pod was active in this area as recently as an hour ago. When was the last tracking data for the baby or its mother? Days ago. But they could be with the pod right now and just not making any noise. First waypoint. They'll load automatically from here on in. I have the Explorer drones patrolling to get as many eyes and ears looking for the pod as possible. 
Do I need the boys? No, we'll use the hydrophones on the drones. They don't have the range or fidelity of the boys, but we need speed. Thanks. Mariah, you know that no chatter rule was just for the vent area, right? I'm sorry? I think he's pointing out that you seem distracted. Sorry. I'm back. Talk to me about something positive, Andre. Were you able to make contact with the teenagers you were telling me about? They've been helping the leatherback turtle population rebound here in the region. They've developed a nest cooling technology to help the baby turtles. They've also built their own tracking drones. Teens with tech. Sounds like you've inspired some citizen scientists, Andre. decided whether or not you want another dive back at the brand pool? With everything going on, I really hadn't had the chance to look at the schedule, but I would always say yes to that. Right. I found the underweight orca. If you can easily collect a sample, we might as well screen him for toxins and pathogens. dolphins in the dive objectives? I added them because of their role in the disease that hit the dolphin population a few years back. Done. Andre, have you picked up any tags from our pod? No, not yet. I'm going to widen the radius for the Explorer drones. It's gotta be close. I feel like it's singing right in my ear. Try a scan visor. That's totally weird. I see a scan dot, but nothing's there. I think the humpback is invisible. <laughs> Sorry. I'm afraid I'm the invisible whale. I'm definitely losing it. I thought you just said you're an invisible whale. Well, not me. The humpback song I generated. You're at a playback station. It's pretty small on the boy line, but in the dark you probably can't see the line. Well, it must be pretty authentic. At least enough to convince your drone. Mirai, have you heard back from Ren yet? No. Is Ren okay? Mirai, are you there? I'm not sure. Pardon? I meant about Ren. I don't know. We had a fight right before I left the sub. Do you want to call her now? I can patch you through. Seriously? Here? Well, I have to watch your video feed for safety, but I can mute your audio track for privacy. Wow, I've never talked to her while I was diving. No, I'll wait for the sub. Okay, Mariah, you're on. The drone on the outer patrol just picked up several sperm whales on visual. Thanks. No sound alerts at all. They're being awfully quiet. Baby, but it's a little dark. Why aren't they moving? They're sleeping. I had no idea. They look alien, but beautiful. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna mute my calm while I get the samples. I don't think I can hear us through your visor. I think she is the one that is needing some quiet. Thanks, Serena. Catch you at the sub. Mariah out. Thank you. 
Hello, Mirai. It's me. I don't see a sample from either the baby or the mother. Andre said you were going back out to look for them. I know you are still deciding, but I told him you're thinking about leaving the expedition early. As soon as I have results, I'll let you know. Mirai, I think I have a location for the mother and baby. They were spotted just outside the research zone by those teenagers I was telling you about. Now, I don't have much data, but the report doesn't sound positive. I'll let Irina know as well. Hello? Is now a good time? You sound tired. Yeah, I'm a zombie. I have trouble sleeping. Did you say school wasn't working out? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Listen, I'm exhausted. I'll catch you later, okay? Ren, please don't hang up. Ren? Okay. Same night, last dive. We're near the coastal area where Andrea and her mother were last spotted. Suit checked and rechecked. Can't risk any exposure in case the bloom hasn't completely resolved. Hard to swim after absorbing neurotoxin. Seriously. Diving now. I'm in. Mirai, are you sure you want to do this dive? I'm okay. And you're sure you want to record in our streaming format? Yes. Ready? Recording now. Tonight we're recording from the open ocean in the Western Pacific. For those of you who are returning, we're trying to get an updated status on the mother and baby sperm whale that we've been following on our stream. We're recording tonight's stream because we have reports that the mother whale is distressed, and we don't want to surprise viewers if these reports are true. After discovering a whale fall in our research zone, we suspected that the whales may have been exposed to a toxin or pathogen, and are currently investigating. Samples from several females in the pod tested positive for a toxin that we believe resulted from exposure to a harmful algal bloom near the coastal area just outside our research zone. As I approach the whales, I'm gonna turn off my mic, but keep on my video feed. that we tested showed low level of this toxin, so we do not believe they will suffer from long-term effects. However, we expect that the mother whale was exposed to a higher level, and was also more vulnerable because of her pregnancy.
Stay close to your aunties. They know the way. As far as we know, those were the only two whales affected by the bloom. With all of Andre's technology genius, he still hasn't invented a way to be in two places at the same time. Before my flight home landed, Irina and Andre had already confirmed the location of the harmful bloom. I stayed close to home with Nana until she passed the next year. Ren moved in with me to save money while she finished school, which was great. Mostly. It was Ren's idea to keep the live stream going remotely using one of Andre's drones. But it was my fabulous idea to have Ren join the stream to choose the questions from the audience. She is definitely a hit. buzzes me when I play my coda sounds, so that is still a mystery. But I swear, we understand each other completely. Something in the
Hello, Mirai. It's me. I don't see a sample from either the baby or the... Andre said, I know you are still... As soon as I...